Have you ever wondered if we are alone in the universe or if somewhere out there in the frigid expanse of space life could exist? The answer to these profound questions may lie closer than you think, on a tiny moon orbiting the ringed giant Saturn. Its name, Enceladus. Now, let's journey back to the launch of the Cassini mission in 1997. This spacecraft named after the Italian astronomer Giovanni Domenico Cassini, who made extensive discoveries about Saturn, was a joint endeavor between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency. Its mission was simple, to explore Saturn and its numerous moons, with a special focus on the largest, Titan. Yet, it was Enceladus, one of Saturn's smaller moons, that stole the show. In 2005, Cassini made an astonishing discovery. Enceladus, despite its icy surface, was not a dead world, far from it. The spacecraft detected geyser-like plumes erupting from the moon's south pole, spewing water and other volatiles into space. These plumes hinted at the presence of a global ocean beneath the moon's icy shell. The intrigue around this tiny moon intensified. Cassini began making daring close proximity flybys, plunging through the plumes to sample their composition. The results were startling. Water vapor, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide, along with trace amounts of molecular nitrogen, simple hydrocarbons, and complex organic chemicals. All the raw materials for life as we know it were present, even though Cassini ended its mission in 2017, plunging into Saturn's atmosphere in a grand finale, the spacecraft's legacy lives on. Scientists are still analyzing the wealth of data it sent back, unraveling the secrets of Saturn's icy moon. Recent findings based on Cassini's data have revealed the presence of ammonia and inorganic phosphorus in Enceladus's ocean. These chemicals, along with the previously discovered ones, make Enceladus a prime candidate for the existence of extraterrestrial life. The ocean beneath Enceladus's icy shell is not just a cold, salty pool. It's a rich chemical soup, containing many of the same compounds found in living organisms on Earth. This includes amino acid precursors, ammonium, and hydrocarbons. One hypothesis that's emerging from the study of Enceladus is that the moon's ocean could support methanogenesis, a process through which microbes known as archaea produce methane. On Earth, these hardy organisms thrive in a wide range of environmental conditions and have done so for over 3 billion years. Biochemical modeling suggests that such microbes could potentially survive in the ocean of Enceladus. However, the journey to confirm life on Enceladus is far from over. While the moon's ocean has a rich chemistry, the overall proportion of certain elements, like phosphorus, may be limiting to Earth-like cells. Nevertheless, the findings from Enceladus are a significant leap forward in our quest to find life beyond Earth. In the grand tapestry of the cosmos, Enceladus is but a tiny dot, a world that could fit comfortably within the borders of the state of Arizona. Yet this icy moon could hold the answer to one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? As we continue to explore and understand Enceladus, we inch closer to answering this profound question. And who knows, the answer might just be waiting beneath the icy shell of this distant moon.